Hannah Young on the Pete Rambo. You, you know that? Oh, yeah, that was a couple years. Yeah, I know the clip. Okay, so Pete Rambo. I, I hope that guy was in the military with a name like Pete <laughs> Rambo, right? It'd be a shame to waste that name without uh, Exactly. Uh, Pete Rambo uh, now has this guy named Hannock Young. And am I saying that right? Hannock? Hanuk? Well, it's Enoch. Hanuk. Oh, I got you. All right. Because he's an Orthodox Jew, remember? Yes, of course. Do so you have to say it in a Jewish way? So uh, this Orthodox Jew... But this is a this clip was a couple years ago, I think. Who cares? It, I mean, it's just so bad. This guy is going around now. Hanuk is going around now. The United States. He's an Orthodox Jew. He's going to different congregations, basically affirming two house theology. I have three clips, but we won't play them because Rob can't hear anything. Um, basically, he says, "I mean, what's your assessment of the video?" We have, the video is in your show notes, by the way. What's the what's your assessment, Rob? I just I, I think you have. Two guys sitting down. One guy is saying, yeah, you know, here I am, a, a Christian. I don't wear a keep I, I put TT on my belt loops, you know, and I'm sitting. And then the other guy is Orthodox Jew who doesn't believe in Yeshua, doesn't feel any uh, conviction of sin, repentance, uh, and need to believe in Yeshua. So, in other words, the, the Orthodox Jew, Yeshua is not a solution to any problem he sees in his life. <laughs> but but he does have a solution to biblical prophecy. He well, sees the two... St- they're going around the world trying to say, oh, Jews are Judah, and then there's Ephraimites out in the world, some of which are in the Christian church. They don't have to be in the Christian church, but there's Ephraimites out there, and that God's going to restore the kingdom of Israel... And it really has nothing to do with Yeshua. Um, you know, it, and so what we need to do is learn to overcome the 2,000 years of hostility between Jewish-Christian relationship and learn to work together for peace and common understanding and all this kind of talk. And, and the whole time, Yeshua is just not even part of the conversation. Oh, I think the most shocking part about the whole video, six minutes in, okay, and once again, this is in your show notes, so you can go watch this video. Six minutes in, Rambo, uh, who professes to be a believer in the Messiah, looks Oh, at we this, believe in the same Messiah. Is that we, the one? Yeah, he, he says, we believe in the same Messiah. It's like... <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what... He I, says, we believe in the same Messiah, we believe in the same God. Now, I understand a lot of people are going to say we believe in the same God because we believe in the God of Israel. However, Yeshua says, no man comes to the Father ex- except through me. And this Orthodox Jew clearly does not believe that Yeshua is the Messiah. How I don't understand how they believe in the same Messiah. And it's all like love and rainbows and kittens. Uh, but, you know, they're not going to... Of course, why would you talk about, uh, you know... The why would you talk about the differences that you have, the complete differences? That's the thing. Let's not talk about our differences. And what we'll do is we're going to believe that God's working through both of us, both our groups. And but what what this the subtext is? Don't tell me that I need Yeshua. Don't tell me that don't you know? I don't want to hear it. I'm not going to. In other words, Caleb, you and I. Let's say I'm I'm not a believer, but I'm an Orthodox Jew, and you're a believer. Underneath is Caleb. If we're going to work together, you can't keep telling me that Yeshua is Messiah and that I need to repent and life is only found in Him. You're going to have to stop bringing that message to me. Actually, I think what I think what Han- Hanuk or whatever is is trying to say, what he's actually saying is, look, we believe in the same Messiah. You just believe He's come once, and when He comes, He'll tell you, look, I didn't already come once. And you'll say, "Oh, oops, we made a mistake." Yeah, like he'll when when the Messiah comes, he'll correct the the division. Yeah, and, and, but and for you, now, it's not for us to talk about Messiah. You'll just say, "Oh, I, I I made a mistake. I'm sorry," and he'll say, "It's okay, it's okay." Now you know the truth. Now it's okay. So basically, and, and the, what the, what it means is put aside your gospels and yeah. all the letters to Paul. Put those aside because we don't know if they're really true or not. And what is and what is follow right? my program. Because I'm telling you that Ezekiel 37 is happening right now. You put aside your apostolic writings, join with my program of yeah. fulfilling Ezekiel 37, and down the road, when the Messiah, true Messiah comes, he'll straighten us all out. Yeah, exactly. 
And of course, you know, then what what is uh what is Rambo saying? Oh, well, we believe in the same Messiah, but when when he comes back, he'll tell you, "Hey, look. It's okay. I already came once. Now you know. Here are the apostolic scriptures. Don't worry about it. You're good." Is this really the 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 gospel that we find? I mean, is this yeah. really the gospel that we find in the in the apostolic scriptures? Oh, it's so frustrating. It really is very. Uh-huh. I like Lois's point. Is there such thing as MC like PC? Poli- it's like political correct. It's messianic correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's messianic correct to 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 go. Oh, you're an Orthodox Jew. Oh, oh you must not. God. You must not need the gospel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You you already are walking in the ways of Hashem. You must. You you don't have any sin, or you your sin is already, you know you've got another means. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not going to tell you about Yeshua. After all, we're post missionary. I think it's so frustrating to me because it, because the, I see this as like people giving up on the gospel. I know Rambo's probably going to say, "Oh no no no, I I still truly believe." But basically, I mean, do you? Do you see this as the same as I do? I see this as a complete Arminian tactic. Arminian theology. Also. Because it's like, oh, if I give him the real gospel, if I tell if I tell this Orthodox Jew the real gospel, that no, we don't believe in the same God, or that no, we don't believe in the same Messiah, and you need to accept Yeshua as the Messiah, uh, or else you can't come to the Father. If I tell him that, he's not going to believe. And so I have to change it, you know, I have to make the gospel pa- palatable to the Orthodox Jew, and when I do that, then he'll accept... He'll accept what I'm saying, and then slowly but surely I can work him into, uh, you know, what what I want. You know, th- then the Holy Spirit will do the work to, you know, bring him around. You know, it's the same kind of thing that the, that uh, Shapira is doing. Oh, I'll 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 totally distort the gospel. I'll say that Metatron is the, is the same as Yeshua. I'll do all yes, the... it's the same Yeshua. It's the, it's the same, same Yeshua. Yeshua. Of course. Caleb, uh, Caleb, I know you're an Orthodox Jew. I know you don't believe the gospel. I know you've read it and you you call Yeshua, you say you say he's Yeshu, his name should be modeled out. But I'm t- but I just want to let you know It's the same guy. That in your in your in your own <laughs> sacred texts, in your Zohar, in your Talmud, in your Midrashim, in your Machzor for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, there's this person you evoke, Yeshua Sar HaPanim, or whatever, Prince of the Presence, and you call him Metatron, he is who we call Jesus. It's the same person, Caleb. So, I just want you to know that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you you need to read, you know, you need to repent. I'm not telling you you need to read the Gospels. But you already have Yeshua, so you know if you tell me you don't believe in him, sorry, you already you do already. You just don't. You're just not paying attention to your own scriptures. <laughs> <laughs>